I literally just came in from the midnight release. Holy crap. What a sequel. The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Another worldwide bestseller. And this time, I actually read the book series. Yes, I have read the Hunger Games trilogy, and that's why I want to go see it at the minute release. I saw it last year at the minute release, and I saw it this year at the minute release. And they did some special screenings, so I gotta go early, and I'm going to review it on November 21st. So, tomorrow it comes out. But I'm reviewing it now, which is really cool. Um, as you see my face, I'm happy. And that's a good thing. First of all, the Hunger Games series is a really good book. I really recommend reading the books, especially before watching the movies. Again, they're really good books, and so far, both are really good films. All right, the second, the sequel, Hunger Games, pretty much Catching Fire. Um, this time, Katniss has returned from the games or anything, and she's just kind of like effective of what she's done. R Spoiler alert: having to rue and all this kind of stuff, and killing a kid and all kind of stuff. And she's got a little relationship with um, how not how, Gale. Yes, sorry. Um, with Gail, and they're kind of like bonding and everything, and he's still kind of mad with her and Peta's fake relationship. And they continue to do that, and now they're going on this tour to every district to explain to them, we're sorry for the loss, but we survived there. And of course, in the trailer, if you can recognize, people start doing this, and people get mad, and they kill him, and the capital's all mean and everything. And then President Snow wants Katniss to make their relationship even more bigger, make it more real realistic, more believable, because of what she's done with the berries and all kind of stuff. Now he really wants her to like to get more into it, and he's starting to notice he can notice things that are just kind of out of the ordinary. But a lot of people like Katniss, so a lot of people are like realizing it, and all the previous winners are like now all like big and tough and everything they feel like they're just like Katniss so to to end all this kind of madness with with all um President Snow's army attacking District 12 and doing all this bad stuff to like pretty much just mess with them pretty much so 75th Hunger Games all the previous winners come back for the Hunger Games and that's all I'm gonna say I know I kind of spoiled a little bit but that's the main story so first off the cinematography in this movie kills it I really like cinematography it was really good it was fitting I could definitely tell even if I if I, even though I know there's a different director I would definitely notice you can tell there's a different director and this director knew he was like yes good let's do it sequel good sequel I feel like in this movie, they really, for an hour, like the first hour of this movie, it's like more into all the, um, the capital and all this kind of stuff, and messing with them, all kind of stuff. First hour of the movie, and then the last hour and 26 minutes is like the games, of course. But, um, I really like the setup. It's all setting up to the 75th games, and a lot of stuff is happening, and there's some cool action scenes in this movie, especially in the games. Another great thing is special effects. Special effects have gotten way better. The water, it either is real or it is fake. Because I am telling you, that is fake. Taking the Hobbit water, doing good. Um, and another really good thing I noticed, the acting. In the first movie, you get actors in a bestseller book, which got a lot of good reviews but a couple details. The second one, they fixed all of it and got mature acting. And they made Jennifer Lawrence hotter. Dude, I'm telling you. Like the whole business. Her and Scarlett Johansson. Hottest ones in the business. I'm just saying. So, great acting. I'm not even kidding. Everyone did good. I cannot think of one person. Even the even the douche. All the douches in the game. They did good. And this one I really like. I'm not, this is kind of a spoiler kind of stuff. But I really like how they put in. Like, in the first one, you barely got to know any of the other kind of contestants except like Rue and the other boy who got shot in the face at the very end. But I but in this one they got more in depth with the characters. Like they actually got to meet the other um kids and adults and everything. Adults actually because yeah the previous one is adults. So yeah, I mean that was really cool to see and it really, really, really did a good job. I like how they went back. They really talked about more of the um supporting characters. 
Now, one of the biggest things when you walk out of this movie, no one is not, no one is going to forget this ending. I am not spoiling the ending, but I'm telling you now, if you read the second book, it is that ending. And this one does it in the perfect way. Perfect, dude. It leaves you hanging. It really does. It leaves you to the bone. Like, you're, you're, it's like right here. Let's wait for the third one, which is going to be split in two parts, I heard, which I think is really stupid. More money. But ending, dude. It's the best part. It's one of the best parts in the whole film. And it's got some funny humor in this movie. I have to admit, it was really funny humor. Overall, I cannot think of anything that was wrong with this movie. I really want to give it a 10 out of 10, but I just feel like it's not its not going to be one of my favorite movies. I mean, it's one of my favorite book to think, because they really just stuck to the book pretty well in this movie, I have to admit. I haven't read the book in a while. I'm going to read the third one again before the um, Mockingjay comes out. It's, okay, I'm going to give this rating a really, really high 5 out of 5. Really high. This calls a 10 out of 10. It was really good. It's way better than the first one. To me, it is. Great action scenes. It was really good. And when they get in the games, dude, it is awesome. We have now connected with these characters. We In this movie, they put the characters that we love in situations that we, we're sitting there wearing for him. Really, a really good film. It is a must-watch in theaters right now. It's a really high 5 out of 5, though. I mean... This close, guys, from a 10 out of 10. That'd be a 10 out of 10 is perfect, like everything. But I just feel like it's not gonna be one of my favorite movies ever. But it's still a really good film. And the ending, dude. You gotta see the third one. So, um, please comment and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed my um, review. It is um 11:35 right now. I just got home, and I'm gonna go to bed because I have school tomorrow. So, yeah. So, comment, subscribe, guys. I know I said that. <laughs> Anyways, bye, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my review.